And we're back, gentles and ladies. Yeah, you that was change. that was like a rancid. You had to change to the there. Metroid suit. Yeah, yeah, Metroid really? suit. And then the Zelda, the Legend. Do you Legend guys suit. want me to play in a costume? Yes. Yeah, for not for a level, I suppose. All yes. right. Yeah, it's gonna be a little distracting to me, but we can do that. Really? Which which one of you guys? Not want that me? one. Not that. One. That uh, one. No. That one. He said that one, that one, that nice. one for this level. We'll go with that one first. All right, we'll do Samus for this level. Samus? No, her name is Metroid. Are you are you, <laughs> are you being serious right now? Yeah, he's being serious. Just, right. just like the green guy's name is Zelda. Mm-hmm. Okay. Er, let's and, and let's get pink, this show on the road, Mario. Folks. The pink suit is Mario. <laughs> like, that doesn't even make sense. That's what a lot of little kids did. Did they change the sound effects, too? Oh, they make it like Super Metroid. That's cool. That's cool. Um, they're like, I whenever I watched Home Alone, I thought that Kevin Sh Chester. So I thought his name was Home I asked Alone. around, and some whale in Europe is trying to fence a huge rock on the black market. He calls it the right eye, saying it's part of some set called the Eyes of the World. Fits the bill of what you're after, don't it? Now, here's the funny bit: the stone passes around the halls of power for hundreds of years vanishes and then the black market goes white hot for the thing but the seller wanted an arm and a leg for it to the point no one could stomach the price so back goes the stone but not before everyone figures out where the guy is <laughs> you're gonna enjoy doing this one i bet i love sticking it to the rich of course when you do don't forget your old buddy enzo stuck his neck out on this one Slide me a few fuzzles out of the rich guy's pocket for my troubles, right? Anyways, you better get going before the trail gets cold. Off to the middle of nowhere. Paradise of Europe. Were they on the east or west coast? I think they were in New York. Why would they fly I don't all know. the way? It's, it's a video game. Hey, cool, it even keeps it. Yeah. Different costume for the cutscenes. Hmm. So yes. What the fuck's with that guy? <laughs> They're invisible. Hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah. He really loves his video game music. Yeah. He does. He really does. Well the soundtrack of this game is phenomenal. And the soundtrack in the second game is actually one of my favorites. What's this? Yeah, it certainly was. That was word. <laughs> like, word. Word up. up. No, word right. To your mother. So, guys, pay attention to the microphone and make sure it doesn't fuck up again. Yeah, you, you care to explain what the hell just happened? Can I touch yeah. It? So. So, essentially, um. Alonzo. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys one of my absolute favoriteest things about this game. She has long legs. She oh my it. god. Yeah, she so, she's not. Take a listen to this. You want to touch me? You want to touch me? <laughs> it's so stupid. Like one of the buttons is that you can go yeah. up any person. Yeah, that's the taunt. Oh, nice. Can you change the taunt? Yeah, depending on what you have equipped, it'll change it. You want to touch me? <laughs> it's so stupid. Go up to like a person do that. Well, actually, something that needs to be said, and it's a, it's a little confusing if you. So we saw in that um. <sighs> we saw in that cutscene over at Rodan's bar that there are three realities, the trinity of realities, if you will, it's sort of three planes of existence that sort of overlap with each other. There's the human world chaos, and then there's hell, that's inferno, and then there's also heaven, paradiso. And there's also a fourth realm in between all of them that's called Purgatorio, and that's where Bayonetta is right now. Which is why everybody looks like a ghost. 
That's where all the she's gonna be fighting all the angels and why it is that nobody can see her. Well, they all aren't away because all the, everything's crashing. They can her. feel stuff, yeah. Yeah, they can they can see that stuff is blowing up, but they don't know why because yep. they can't see her. So when so they can't touch her even if they want to. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. It's more for the enemies. Yeah, it, it's. Yeah, so we're gonna be heading down over there. Uh huh. So do you guys know anything about this game at all? No. No, that not made it. I love the game. Grumps played it for two episodes. Really? Maybe it was only one. Did they? Yeah, they played it for like two episodes way back in the day with John. Uh, I remember watching uh, one of the guy YouTubers I watched, Maximilian dude, uh, in yo know, video games. They played it. He's a big platinum fan, so that's why John really uh, John really liked it. So yeah, I know that because like the first thing I ever saw of this game actually was um. Uh, John did like a top ten boss, final bosses or something like John top Tron. ten boss. Yeah, yeah, that John. He did like a top ten boss battles video, and he ranked the final boss of this game at the very top. Really? That, that was the first thing I ever saw of this game was the final boss. <laughs> Not well, but I I didn't remember enough of it by the time I actually played the game, so it was still kind of a surprise. So the way that this game ranks you is there will be encounters or verses, and you'll get medals from them ranking how well you do. No, you won't. <laughs> Typically it will. Mm -hmm. Well, that's because the, the verse isn't over, I guess. There's still more enemies. And you are graded on... Yeah, there you go. And then you get a medal for it, and then at the end of the chapter, it'll tally up your medals. Oh yeah, do you guys want to read the flavor text for this playthrough or not? Uh, yeah. pause over for a second so people can pause it and then go. Okay. What? Well, you know, I might as well just glance over. I've been a journalist now for over 20 years, always aiming for the guiding light of truth, always pushing forward. I believe that communicating the truth is the core tenet of old journalism. Chasing it until my legs yeah, turn to rubber and my truth is burned into my retinas. But my journalistic career has hit an incredible wall and I must confess that I've been crushed under the weight of the path I've traveled. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, I don't think... I think it'll kind of slow things down. What How about you lean getting... back a little bit? Because you're closest to the microphone. Yeah. And, and you speak the loudest. Yeah, you do. Yeah. So, not for this playthrough. If you want to play he the game right for yourself... He goes right back to where he was. Yeah, I know. Okay. You've seen that... him earlier when he was right in front of the TV. He had this chair. <laughs> like, you know how you see kids, like, back in the day? Like, they would just sit in front of the TV and be, like, hooked on it playing. That was Michael. Yeah, I walked away. I walked away. Then I come back later. And I walked down. He's like, right in directly in front of the TV, like two inches away from it. I mean, like the th the thing about the, the the lore is that it it tells you important things that the cutscenes alone won't tell you. So like, if you're confused about aspects of the story, it'll sort of clarify it. Oh yeah. So I'll I'll be reading a handful of them, I guess, just to fill in the blanks of the story. But I don't think we'll need to read all of them, because this is going to be a pretty lengthy playthrough as it is, and, you know, I don't want to make things go on too long. Why not? Because yeah, that means it's more I've got to edit, it's more stuff I've got to keep in my hard drive, you know? More content for the viewers, which we don't yeah. give a shit about. Michael doesn't, at least we do. Michael loves it himself. Me and Ethan. <laughs> Michael loves himself. Yeah, he really loves himself, if you know what I mean. If only himself. He's asexual, if you know what I mean. He reproduces right. with himself. That's kind of a weird puzzle element in this first chunk of the game. Is They'll have you go into witch time to cross over gaps and stuff, and then beat the hell out of these things to progress. It's kind Why? of a puzzle element they do away with in the second one. Why? Because they fight more. Yeah, there's, the, the pacing is a little better in the second one when it comes to that. It's, it's a good like, chart at all up in this. It's like they learned in the sequel. Yeah, they definitely. I mean, like, the first the first time I played these, like, I got these for this past Christmas. This is my, like, big gift, I guess. And, you know, I, I played them both over January, just sort of back-to-back, -back, as, like, I was really into them. And th this is one of the few games I've ever played where, like, I'll play, like, a difficulty, and then, like, immediately after I beat it, come back and play a higher difficulty. Oh, I do that all the time. Yeah, I don't because I always have so much stuff to play. I just want to move on, but like DKC like... for the sixteenth time, <laughs> and DKC two for right, the twenty seventh right. time. I knew it. This town's teeming with heaven's little helpers. It's making my buddies downstairs awfully nervous. 
And your point is? Some places in this world are closer to Paradiso or Inferno. The rat hole of the town you and I live in is close to both. But the Bigridians, it got a special air about them. They're closer to Paradiso than anyone should ever be. And that shit just plain creeps me out. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to set up shop here and score me some halos. These stupid rings are worth a fortune back home. Since it seems you're spoiling for a fight, if you come across any of these, bring them to me, and I'll hook you up. <sighs> Another one looking to line his pockets. <laughs> I'm beginning to see why Enzo is so fond of you. Real cute. But let's get one thing straight. Your fights are yours alone. I'm only here to watch my handiwork in action. So don't get any bright ideas about coming to me for help. No. You get one thing straight. I'm not the slightest bit interested in the fact that you made these guns. If you get in my way, I will... How do the Americans put it? Oh yes. Bust a cap in your ass. Right on, baby. Right on. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. I don't like British accents. People say they're so sexy, full and lovely, and they can cure cancer. But uh, <laughs> no, I, 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 I think they're overrated. I don't like them. So he said. I, I don't know. Yeah, said, I mean, that, this is your opinion. You know. He said he said those rings were worth a fortune, and she just broke a statue, and like three of them popped out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't know, it's video game logic? Yeah. So basically, uh, Rodan is the shop mechanic of the game. So you will gather up the rings, the Sonic the Hedgehog rings, and you can use them to buy all sorts of shit. If you, if you get hit without carrying any of the rings, do you die? No. <laughs> so it's not Sonic the Hedgehog. I just meant that they look like them. Where does she keep her Chaos Emeralds? Did we ask this in the last part? <laughs> Is I, that, I feel did, like we did. I bet she keeps like two of them in her flat chest because then they're like all pointy. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> I don't think you really got that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so stupid. You are. Yeah. Anyway, so we're gonna start off by buying some techniques. Cause... No, we're not. You found 22,000 of those? Yeah, but you need a shit ton of them for some of the stuff in this game. Like a hundred million? Let's start with that. Uh, uh, we're gonna be buying those, because that's that's what you want to go for first, folks. Because otherwise this game will... it's pretty tough. Let's see. Yeah, I think we'll buy one of these for now. And we'll call that good. I don't know, we, we might keep future visits, I don't know, we probably should keep the visits to the shop and I'll try to do it in between chapters so that we're not interrupting like the gameplay for it. How long is this game? Uh, I don't want to, well, 16 chapters plus a plus an epilogue, so it, it's, it's a sizable game. So in other words, it's boring. <laughs> well, apparently not, because that's what people wanted to see. Yeah, people like it. It's pretty, actually, an exciting game. Since it's know. since it's 1080, 1080 urine, <laughs> um, <laughs> and 60 FPS, it looks pretty. Uh, it looks very yes on the TV we're looking at. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 